what is good friends we got more OUPL here we got my man Padlop versus Twin Cities and uh, he changed his um, smog on to Salisy or however you pronounce that um, yeah I shouldn't record this chat actually I know the graphic might get worse if I like zoom in a bit like this but the chat only talks about the game and it's like Aim was playing earlier for DBP Cup. I think chat was talking there, but I don't think the chat is talking about Padlop's game, the lobby chat. Only this chat here. Okay, so Padlop brought this bulky offensive-ish with the Ash Good Ninja team, okay? It's not spikes, so it could be defoxes, or he probably posted this team in, in our chat, but I haven't looked at it. Or he probably posted it somewhere to me. And yes, his opponent has some... Let me see. I can see a uh, Scarf Chomp and then a Z move is either on Regina or Landris. He has like Tapu Fini plus Feral Thorn, which would check any ver variant of Protein Greninja that doesn't have HP Fire plus Gunk Shot. Uh, some pro Protein Greninja don't carry Gunk Shot anymore because Tapu Fini is not that common. So, like, I'm not sure if this. Like, if he wants to be super safe with uh, uh, Greninja, all forms of Greninja, this could be AV Mediona to have a solid check. But if he just wants to be a bit more offensive, this could be offensive Mediona. Like, Z move, Trick Room, or Shift Gear. He doesn't have a Dougie support to support that wise, so I'm not really sure. Or, it's, like, Dougie is used, like, sometimes on HP Ice Cherry that Y. You don't have to run. Focus Blast or Earthquake on that for Heatran. Um. Oh yeah, it's also used. It's mainly used for Toxic Packs. Dougie with Zard. So I could see this being Zard X then, but no matter what Zard it is, it's kind of hard for Padlock to switch into this. If he goes side operating Zard Y, but if he goes for Dragon Nines, exactly. What is Padlock gonna do now? Like, uh, like I said, like. I He doesn't have support for that Y, so I could see that X. I mean, you you already know this might be some meme team with DD that Y, but it's not. Dragonclaw should kill, yeah. I think that was a bandit Zygarde, and... I think this game is over. <laughs> As Flabbers is just gonna kill everything, and Dragonclaw is gonna kill the good ninja, so it was fun. Damn. Bella was trying out a new team and he didn't prepare for... The team was not prepared for Zardex. I mean, Zardex is not that common, I can completely understand, like... When I build a team, I don't think that much about checking Zardex anymore, honestly. Like, what I think about is like Volcarona, Zygarde, Greninja, stuff like that. I mean, yeah, he takes some 5000 recall, but he's just gonna win. Dragonclaw kills this good ninja. He can try to get some water shuriken. Five crits with five hits, five crits maybe. Oh, if he gets five hits, he can kill him. Oh, a goat! He gets five hits. <laughs> LMA, oh, Padlop the goat gets his ash form. How does he do it? What the fuck? <laughs> yeah, that's just yeah, exactly Padlopping. Padlopping OUPL. Hopefully, we're gonna be Padlopping in World Cup too. Stay tuned for World Cup content. The World Cup signups are up. Might link the thread down below if I don't forget. But yeah, most of you guys will know where, th where you can find the thread. But yeah, if you don't find the thread and I forget forget to link it, just hit me up on Discord. Or yeah, yeah, exactly. Discord. My s my link, my server, or my own Discord is in the description. Um. Also gonna be starting uh, the stream like next weeks. But yeah, my, my focus is going to be on World Cup and I'm going to be uploading most of those games, probably not streaming that much. Just upload most of the World Cup games, but streaming will be like laddering sessions. Yeah, there's a free tap of Fini and you can go... You can If he doesn't have Skull, like if he has Skull, you can try to burn the Bulu. Because the terrain would be changed. But otherwise he can just double into something. Like if his uh, Garchomp has Z Fire Fang for example, but I think it's Scarf Jump, I said that already. Like, he can double into something that beats the Bulu, which would either be the Majorna. Like, I don't see Padlop going to anything besides Bulu and maybe Sith. No, Sith doesn't do much. 
There he goes, Bolo. So you risk a potential scald here. But we do see Nature's Madness. Yeah, Nature's Madness covered like Celesteela kinda and Scissor, but like I probably would have doubled the Magirna there as Padlop doubles out into oh, Celesteela, okay. What do you predict there? I probably doesn't have anything to touch Ferrothorn on Magirna. Predict Ferrothorn on Magirna maybe and has Fire Blast on in his offensive Celesteela because he likes to use offensive Celesteela. But I'm not sure, I really haven't looked at a team. Like, I know most of the people here might know the team from my Discord. Or, like, in general, people that talk to Padlop, he might have shown in the team. <laughs> Deserve for what having a shit team? <laughs> Wait, what? Padlop had it all calculated, genius. <laughs> no, no. <laughs> yeah, this is funny. Yeah, he's gonna throw up a Leech Seed here, or. If we predict some of the steals, he can go for Fire Blast, but Leech Seed is pretty free, I think. Because usually you don't bring Ferrothorn in on Celesteela exactly. So this could be a... Like I said, either the Volt Switch is coming here. Oh, he already showed Volt Switch. Okay, so it's pretty much confirmed that it's AV. I must have not paid attention earlier when he Volt Switched. Yeah, I haven't eaten yet. It's like... <laughs> I'm completely fucked up, but I, uh, I got this, guys. I'm bringing you the content. I don't really care if I'm like tired or anything. I mean, I'm not really tired, but I just haven't eaten much today. I know why I'm talking about this. Oh yeah, Ricardo said in one of my videos, uh, don't, don't kill yourself for recordings or something. But the thing is, I was that one night I was up anyways because there was an NJ and P chat going on, and I was like willing to sac sacrifice some sleep because like there was the OU council talking about the meta game that was kind of interesting to me, and I was like waiting for. Poke DG Gamers game and it was like happening at like I think 1 am my time or oh, 0 30. But yeah, he doesn't it just madness. Um, I think he might have predicted Padlop to predict the taunt, so that's why he didn't go for taunt that turn. So like he predicted something like the scissor to come out or the Bulu. He just wanted some damage. But yeah, Padlop can go for a flash can here or whatever his set is. Oh, is, it, is he heavy slim? Oh, if he's slim, sorry, he might be heavy slim, but usually Padlop runs offensive set of stealer. No, this team is probably spit deaf then if he has flamethrower because also offensive service dealer runs fire blast this has flamethrower yeah padlop actually has a slight chance to win now but i still i think it's still in his opponent's favor as we see hp fire do absolutely nothing so that's probably bulky yeah <laughs> bounced off and yeah, padlop is going to double lead seed here on the top of him is he going to double lead seed he does not double lead seed i mean he still gets some damage off but i don't th i don't really see why he wouldn't double lead seed there I guess in case I guess in case the Magina went for Volt Switch, yeah. But I feel like the Heart Switch was pretty obvious. Um, he keeps doubling out into Cell Steeler, so that means he cannot touch the Steel types. Or what else does it mean? Or he doesn't want to take helmet damage from this Landris. As he's, um, so we can see that Twin Cities is one of the few people preparing for Hazard X, as he still has Stone Edge on his Landris, unless he's at the um, unless he has U-turn and Continental Crush on his Landris. Uh, yeah, he's just trying to chip the Celesteela down, but it doesn't really work. I mean, his, his way of beating the Celesteela is like stalling out the Leech Seeds. But he's gonna take so much damage, and his, his team is gonna take so much damage in the process. <laughs> Who's man said yawn? The Celesteela just walling everything. I end up going hard bullet break in the Nature's Madness. Yep. And I can see Padlop just attacking this time because he kept doubling earlier. But Horn Leech is gonna hurt. Yeah, ouch. I thought he might Horn Leech there. <laughs> but it doesn't hurt that much thanks to the grassy terrain and stuff. Actually, that didn't really hurt. I thought we would t see more recoil, and I'm used to. I should stop playing on the like 1400s because people run Rocky Helmet Ferals on there. And like, I'm used to take a lot of damage when I go for a physical hit. But if Scissor can go for a Rooster U turn here. If this is SD Scissor, I mean, this is HP Fine Majorna, but other than that. Since it puts in a lot of work, you obviously don't want to stay in on the HP fire. And so I probably would have protected there. Um, or at least Leech Seed, what? Oh, he predicted, he predicted him to pivot into Ferrothorn. Oh, that was risky, my man, Padlock. Now he saw Steelers getting low. Oh, dang. I mean, <laughs> Padlock got really lucky with the 5 hits on the water shuriken that's like the only thing that kept him in the game and he's like getting kind of outplayed here 
Um, yeah, just leech it again here. Just leech it again. This is the most obvious pivot, my man. Don't go for heavy slam and tie your helmet. Nice, nice. He's a Pedlop finally making a decent play there. <laughs> Although, I didn't mean to shit talk you, my man. <laughs> Pedlop making the right call there is what I meant. Oh, dang. I thought he would triple leech seed it. And yeah, he's gonna protect you to get more health. But yeah, what? Why did he not protect? What? I mean, yeah, he put it in the hard switch, but like, you need health on this, my man. And if he hard switches, you can just protect again and get more health anyway. And yeah, I think Padlock loses still. <laughs> that is that's too low now. I mean, I thought he's thinking about if he should predict the leech seed and go Pharaoh Thorn, or if he should just pivot into something like Feeny or Landris again to U-turn out or just hard switch out because you don't want to U-turn and protect and give him all each seed but yeah Padlop got the correct got the lead seed off double lead seed would have been flames he went for flames so operating his opponent to go f Either Magirna or Pharaoh on a protect. I don't know why he would go Pharaoh, but yeah. It works out for Padlock as I don't know why he didn't protect this turn. He maybe he doesn't want to waste. There's like a Gen 5 UU game going on. I kinda have to click on that. Cause it's like someone said there were three tanks. Never mind. Oh Aim is playing Gen 5. Oh this might be for UU Premier League. So yeah, but I'm focusing on Padlock's game now. <laughs> Yeah, I gotta eat after this and then I'll see what other games I'll concentrate on. Uh, hopefully we will see some smoke juice today. Uh, Blunder with Alexander gonna be high, PTC with Porsche. All those series gonna have maybe a Nintendo in the next two days. Um, I know I won't be able to catch all, but I'm gonna wanna try to catch most. Would be amazing if I would be able to get all though. But yeah, Lando's gonna U-turn or oh, HP f eyes, okay. Yeah, HBI is a knight of two hit KO to Cellus Dealer, depending on the cylinder. No, I probably, no, probably would have bounced off, what am I saying, it's a Cellus Stealer. But since I can go for slow u on here pretty much. To get the momentum. And this way he can get, I don't think that crit matters too much. He can get some leftovers on the Cellus Stealer here. Okay, I would have gone Cellus Stealer there. But Padlop likes to play, um, bring in his threat, I guess. But I don't see why you wouldn't get try to get your Celestia Dealer healthy because Celestia puts in work. Like I would have gone Celestia Dealer and then would have then I would have predicted him to go for Protect and switch into something like Majorna and I would have doubled out into like Actually he doesn't have much to be Majorna, so he couldn't really double into anything. Yeah Majorna was at 90, never mind. Yeah never mind, Majorna dies to a hit from Celestia. That does a lot, good lord. This might be more fist stuff. I mean it's, it's Ash Greninja, we don't play around with specs Ash Greninja. After it gets off the form. Um, Celestia is really slow, right? Let's not say anything wrong. I think Magina is faster. Because Celestia runs minus speed nature anyway on this, but Death said, yeah, yeah. Data Magina. He goes for Bullet Punch, they're breaking the tone. Yeah, yeah, Magina is faster for sure, if, especially if Celestia runs minus speed. I could see a U turn here from Padlop or a Hot Bulu. Hot uh, Bulu is kind of risky because he can Moonblast predicting that. Did he Moonblast predict in the Bulu? Dang. Okay, he didn't. And he missed the Nature's Madness, which sucks for him a bit. Um, yeah, but, but what sucked the most was the Greninja getting 5 hits earlier. Man's really, man's really padlopping. Oh yeah, also, um, we got, I got decent, like, win-loss ratio feedback on laddering adventures with Padlop the first episode. We already recorded the second episode. We were like on the lower ladder there because Padlock was like 11 on the ladder and he didn't want to lose any points. <laughs> but his lead seed type of Bulu, that's inter interesting. He gets more health back. I mean, that's to beat like fatter teams. I like Woodhammer a bit better on this set. Because you actually you do more damage to stuff like Toxic Packs. But yeah, this set is cool if it's it's either like the Continental Crush or the. Um, depending on what you want to break, can be the Superpower if you want to break Ferrothorne. And like, the superpower also does more versus scum, obviously. Yeah, last move could be SD, yeah. 
You can see that. Uh, also, Padlop used the bulk up type of bullet ones with Brick Break, and we were. I think some. I know some people were making fun of that, but yeah, it's just all in the good. F it's just a joke, Padlop. Don't take it serious. So this is probably Scarf Toxic Guard Chomp, but yeah, Padlop is not looking too too bad. I can see um, his opponent switching to something that beats Saddle Stealer, which he doesn't have much, I guess, because. Yeah, does he go Cell Stealer here? Damn, I would have gone Cell Stealer there. Because the Guardian was probably locked in a Toxic. And I just want to get some health up on Cell Stealer. And also, like, his opponent doesn't have much that beats Cell Stealer. And even if he goes Mid-Journal, which outspeeds Stealer and might kill a little Volt Switch, you just go for Protect and get more health. So, yeah, Padlam is going to Defog here. And I think he's going to get Leech Seated. Oh, if he has Defog, that is. I really think that Mega Scissor is... But SD is, like... I don't want to say underprepared for, but it's like a threat that people sleep on. Like, I, most of the people just want Defog Scissor, because I can understand it, because there's not that much good hazard control in this matter. But, like, SD Scissor, dude, like, it just runs through some teams. It has to be played correctly, obviously, like. And, like, Jammed would use it probably with Bug Bite over U Turn, because that's, like, consistent. And, like, you, you. Like, sometimes U Turn is better, obviously, if you want to get a new Breaker, but Bug Bite is really nice, like. If you set up an SD, you do more damage, stuff like that. You don't switch out with stuff like Ferrothorn. Like, if you turn out with Ferrothorn, you, like, have to set up again later on. You lose your boost, and you do less damage, because it's... Bug Bite is Technician boosted. But the Padlop is gonna Roost here. I assume. I don't see why he wouldn't Roost. And he's gonna U-turn out a Bullet Punch. On the top of Fini. Interesting how close this game is, just because of Padlop getting those 5 hits with Greninja. He switches into Steeler there. I don't know if I would net that play. That was interesting. And he doesn't even protect. Oh, he predicted him to go into Ferrothorn. Or into Magiana on the protect. Interesting series of plays. But yeah, Pedal's gonna heavy slam get some damage on this type of Fini. <laughs> no, don't say this. I don't want Nah, it's fine. Misty Terrain, so Padlop can Padlop him there and go for the burn. I assume, yeah, he's gonna protect to get more health. And yeah, this is a free... He can Kalk if he lives, but I wouldn't risk the crit, so he's probably gonna go Scissor, exactly. So if I'm Padlop, I double into... I mean, he can just U-turn, but I don't know if I would want to take... Iron Bobs or Rough Skin, so I might double into um, Seven Stealer, is what I was trying to say, or Greninja. But then I realized that Half Arizona was too healthy for Greninja. So this works out for Pad Lobby. I mean, he was willing to take that Iron Bobs, that's fine. You can just go for Flamethrower or Leech Seed here. If he wants to make a read, he can go for Leech Seed. That would be amazing because he would get his uh, Seven Stealer healthy, but yeah, he's just playing it safe. Just kind of understandable because getting rid of the Ferrothorn would be huge. Ash Greninja puts in a lot of work now the type of Fini is so low, like if Ferrothorn also would be done, like down, Ash Green kind of just wins, because I assume that Gajab might die at 41 to his specs Water Shireen. I don't have my Kalk out at the moon, but he might need some a little bit more chip, but not that much more, as um he keeps going for Holy H, which I don't know why, it's like his opponent kept bringing the Pharaoh in on this like I think two or three times. At least two times, I don't know if you brought it in more often. But yeah, this is... The Ferrothorn is still really annoying for Padlop. But so is the Cell Stealer for his opponent. You can see a Roost from Padlop here. But yeah, uh, Tapu Fini gets more health if Padlop went for Roost there. So Padlop making the nice play going for U-turn doesn't... want to lose momentum. I mean, he could have, like, his opponent could have stayed in double leech predicting the U-turn. And he gets a crit there, which is a bit annoying. That looks gonna go for Protect here to get more leftovers back. And so he just walls everything now. That I think this game is over. So Padla would have like gotten... Was it 5 or 6? Or he would have gotten blown away by the Zard X basically. I don't think he could have won. Um, uh, it, oh, he gets a crit. Never mind. So there's some justice for Padlop's opponent. I don't know why I don't know why Padlop didn't protect there. That was really weird. 
Why not protect my man? What? That was really weird. What? Like, this Magina is pretty much confirmed to be AV, right? Like, I don't see one reason why he wouldn't go for protect there. I mean, yeah, he didn't have to, but like... What was his opponent gonna do at this point versus Celesteel? If you protect, then get it even healthier. So yeah, Padlop, you know, if this doesn't have power whip, you can, you can also just flinch this. And this also might not have power whip, but it has power whip and it connects. So yeah. I mean, Padlop would have just lost to the Zard earlier. His only way of revenging was like... If he got enough hits with the Greninja, he could have put it in bullet punch range maybe. But he get, just got 5 hits, so like he could just kill the Zard. But if he like got 3 or 4 hits, maybe it would have been in bullet punch range. If, he probably, if it was, if he got 4 hits maybe. But his opponent could have still saved the Zard, like, if it wasn't bullet punch range, so, like, that Hex had a lot of impact, and yeah, Pelo just loses this game. As, okay, he dodges a power whip, but, uh, like, his, his Tidal Boot is poisoned, he's not gonna bring this back. If he didn't get crit, he just won there with his Saddle Stealer. He goes for Z-move on a Protect, as we see his eyes couldn't have crushed, that wouldn't have done anything, even without Protect. Nice chip. I mean, that's what this loss was deserved. Um, it, it was bad matchup for Pazza, but I gotta give him that. Like, ever when Zard came in on Celestila and on Scizor, it was like pretty much over for Pazza. Well, not, not over, but like Zard would always do like big damage to his team. So, well. He would have won the game, but he kinda didn't deserve to win it. Like, after he got that 5, it's. I mean, some some people might say his Greninja is well trained, but yeah, I'll go to the score here. As um, oh, th those are my predictions here. I did predict Padlop to win, but it was was his Latna, and then I got subbed out. It was more like it was more like kind of I'm supporting Padlop, but I wasn't sure if he would win. But yeah, like I know that Padlop can pull it out. Like he's not a bad player, but it didn't work this time. Um, yeah. I think League lost was uh, one versus Steve Angelo, but I didn't see that game, and I think I couldn't find the replay. Um, I think X Ray won versus Ample. So I think the score is two one for Blunder's team, but I'm not sure if they can make playoffs at the moment. I know I think Petlop's team was like number two or number three, and like Ricardo's team was number one at the moment, like Anti's team. But Ricardo's playing on there. Ricardo's playing Finch. That match is hype. I hope I don't miss that match. Yeah, Teal won his game when he brought a freaking uh, Palo Sand or the Sandcastle Pokemon, however it's called. Yeah, I, I recorded this series, Pokedishigi was Femen, Pokedishigi. He just won his circuit series, which was in a best of three, which was really cool. But I was like, I missed like half of it, so I didn't record it. And yeah, stay tuned for more content. And what else, what else? I probably forgot something that I wanted to mention. Uh, sad to see Petal lose this way, but like, <laughs> he definitely, I don't think he deserved to win this game, but yeah. Thank you guys for watching, Dockerch signing out, and we'll catch you later with more OUPL and hopefully some Smoktus players too. We will see what happens. Peace out, friends.